Hey everybody, this is Curtis from PSN Stores. Uh, so today I was on the PSN Store to look to see what was new, what's what's uh, what came out this week. And I noticed this game called Kitten Squad, and so I, I clicked on it because I was curious. I was like, never, I've never heard of this. And I noticed that it was uh, it's published by PETA, which intrigued me. So I went on and I, you know, read the description. So, you know, kittens killing robots for a good cause, of course. Uh, sadistic robots have enslaved orcas at Sealand Marine Park. The evil sheep puncher robot has kidnapped has kidnapped sheep for the twisted wool industry. Only the kitten squad is up to the task of saving these gentle animals. Players must guide the kitten squad, armed with weaponry ranging from a carrot rocket launchers to yarn ball guns, on missions to defeat the evil robots and free the animals in this action game brought to you by PETA. So, uh, this is free. There are some in-app purchases, but I figured I I gotta check this out. I gotta know what it is. And as it turns out, weirdly enough, it's actually like not bad. It's it's kind of okay. Um, so we're just gonna jump in and do it. This is a uh, twin stick shooter. Uh, it feels very reminiscent of like a Binding of Isaac, except the art style is not. Uh, it's a very drastically different art style, obviously. So here's kind of your hub area right here. We've got a. Uh, we got this guy right here, if you talk to him. Um, shearers are often paid by volume of wool, not by the hour, which encourages fast and violent work and can lead to severe cuts on sheep's bodies. So, um, naturally you kind of get a, uh... P this is not PETA's first game. Um, this is, I think, their first console game. But they have put out, like, Flash games before, and a lot of it's pretty propaganda-heavy. Um, a lot of it is like a parody of other games, like they've done a Cooking Mama parody, they've done a Super Mario Brothers parody, uh, there's been a few others. But a lot of them have been pretty, uh, pretty heavy with like, the propaganda, pretty heavy with like, this is obviously, you know, ripping off of this other game that people know about. I know Mario Brothers being the big one. Uh, this really isn't explicitly ripping off anything, I guess. Uh, and really, you can you can kind of play this and not really get bashed over the head with a lot of like, you know, propaganda that you would expect from PETA. You can kind of play this and kind of ignore that for the most part. Most of it's you're, you're going out on um, quests to free animals. So we have this is our side quest guy here. He's a uh, pirate dog. Uh, return to me when you fill Davy Jones's locker with those something. I think it should say robots there. If you seek treasure, pursue today's bounty. So he's got bounties or side quests for you. So let's go ahead and um, accept th some of these. So we got the bot bomb squad. Most of these are just like defeating a certain number of enemy. And it'll show you if you go over here what they look like. So we'll accept these. And then if we go over uh, this deer over here, the wise deer. He's, so he's got our main objectives. So you see, I've already rescued Olivia the Orca. I've saved some sheep, saved some dolphins, saved some seals. Uh, most of these, you're just kind of going through levels and you're saving different animals from captivity. Uh, so we have the Sheep Puncher, or we have uh, Save Our Sheep Part 2. Um, so we're going to do the Sheep Puncher, but if you want, you can uh, review a cutscene here. Michael remembers the day the farmers made their mark on him and took away his sheephood. They punched a hole in his ear and put a tag in it so that he would not forget who owned him. They castrated him without any painkillers. So, yeah, you can see where this is going. Um. <laughs> it's weird, like, the, the whale, the, the one for saving the orca, like, actually had some pretty decent art. Um, if you... You know, and it's the weird thing, uh, you know, I, I feel like in general, it's, uh, obviously you don't want, um, you don't want animals to be harmed, right? <laughs> uh, obviously PETA is, a it's a pretty controversial group, you know, but, uh, if you, <laughs> from, from, you know, just the game standpoint, it's, uh, let's get into that. 
the game itself actually like I, I kind of went in thinking like this is gonna be really bad but it's not terrible um so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see here my only real big complaint is I feel like the levels kind of take a like kind of go on a little bit longer than they should be a little bit too long for sure. um, but yeah I mean it's pretty it's pretty simple you play as this cat this kid and there's a bunch of robots and yeah it, it really reminds me a lot of Finding Wise uh, I don't know if this is like if that was specifically the game that they looked at and it was like we should we should do this uh, it certainly seems like it so right now I have, I have this gun as, you're, as you kill them Go robot to, uh, go drop the weapons. And so you you picked up those weapons and there's like there's a flamethrower, there's a carrot rocket launcher, uh, there's a gun that shoots tomatoes. There is a gun that shoots lasers that ricochet off the walls. Uh, there's a, like there's a pretty good amount of different weapons. Uh, and they're actually like they're not bad. Like, there's quite a few weapons that I actually really like to use. Uh, in uh, these cat coins I'm collecting can be used to purchase hats, uh, glasses, or different types of things to use. So we'll show off that. Uh, so I just got a new weapon. Or no, that was the one I had. Here's a new weapon. So this shoots out yarn balls. I actually kind of like this one. So if we pause, or not pause. Yeah, uh, we go over to character. So I have a little over 6,000 uh, coins right now. So I have a cowboy hat right now. But I can get like a, I can get a crown, I can get a pita cap, a wizard hat, tiara, a top hat. We'll go top hat. Why not? You have aviators, you have glasses. Monocle. Not a lot of glasses. I wish there were maybe a little more. And then you just have different types of cameras. Let's see if we can find a good one. Uh, and there's actually a lot of different uh, kitten colors that you can get. There's a lot of like numbered ones and they're specifically named kittens. Yeah, there's like white and black, black and white, white, black, ginger, tabby, pita, <laughs> Siamese. There's also these robot cats, which are pretty expensive. And then if you go to buy kitten coins, that's where your in-game purchases are. However, there are no coins available to purchase at the moment. So I'm not too sure what the pricing on that's gonna be. But I mean in general, like it, you know, other than those robot cats that are pretty expensive, uh, it doesn't seem like it would be too terrible to grind to get the coins needed. But you know, this is a, uh, I mean, this is pretty much the game. What, what will happen is, in this specific level, you actually go fight a boss, which I died and then was sent back to the pub, which kind of sucked. Because the levels can get kind of long. Um, like I mentioned, they drag a bit. I think they probably could have shortened the levels a little bit. Especially when you die and, at the, on the boss and then you were sent all the way back, it kind of sucks. And the boss didn't have a health bar, so I'm not really sure how close I was. But, uh, yeah, so basically, you'll have that, and you'll have, um, you might run into, like, an area where, like, the, the dolphins are, are trapped, and so there's, like, glass that you have to break open so that they can leave and escape. Just, you know, different things like that. And it's, you know, it's really, as far as PETA's concerned, it's... Uh, it feels just kind of harmless, you know? I mean, for free, yeah, there are the in-app purchases that aren't available yet, but, you know, it's it's free, it's not bad, like, it's kind of okay. Um, and I, like, I'll probably actually, like, finish this and then, you know, never touch it again, but it's not terrible. Uh, which maybe isn't the highest recommendation, but it's... <laughs> I, you know, it's weird. I kind of wish they would have been even crazier with it, because I kind of appreciate, um, one thing I, you know, when they made the, uh, I think it was, like, Super Chick Sisters or something, when they made the Mario Brothers for Bob, like, years ago, I kind of appreciated just how late it was, uh, because it was, like, KFC, the evil corporation, and you're, 
you're the ones that they're, that are gonna go and they're, you're gonna put an end to their, their terrible schemes. And, like, it was just so over the top that I kind of appreciated that it, for that, even though it's not, like, it's not a good game. Uh, whereas this, like, like I said, you know, this is, it's not really... It's its own thing, like, it's not really ripping off anything, and it's not... Like, you read the, sort of the synopsis from the store, and it's like, dude, what? Is this a... <laughs> what? Um... So, I don't know, I, I kind of wish it would have been a little bit more over the top, which is probably a super weird thing to say for something like this. Okay, so here's, yeah, here's your, like, laser set for ricochet. It would be cool if you could, like, upgrade weapons. But again, I mean, you reach a point with this where it's like, it's free. It is what it is, it's not. Yeah, so, essentially what happens when you go on missions where you're rescuing sheep, uh, you end up in these areas right here. So we have these, like, you know. It's obvious what, what this is, but, uh, and then if you're rescuing, like, a dolphin or seals or the orca whale, uh, you end up in the uh, aquarium kind of environment. Oh no! Not me do that. Uh, so, the the thing is, so um, as much as this, you know, is very much a fine classic kind of thing, uh, except for the robot stuff, but, uh, you can shoot in eight directions, which I appreciate. It's something you can't do in Binding of Isaac. Not, look, not to say that this is, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of Binding of Isaac, but not to say this has, this is not as anywhere close to that, right? <laughs> The flamethrower is kind of cool. It seems kind of neat, though. Or at least in comparison to some of the other weapons we get. Here's our carrot. Given me, you know, five guesses, never would have guessed that PETA would be the company behind this. But, you know, it's kind of, it's, it, it just feels harmless, I guess. Um, I don't necessarily have a, uh, They do their thing and it's... Yeah. It's actually weird, like I have this like homing missile launcher. Which you would expect would be like a pretty good weapon, but I felt like this was like a weak. Like I used this against the boss of this mission. And it was not doing anything that great. trophies for this, of course, uh, most, I mean, I've, I've gotten most of them already, they're pretty simple, nothing too weird, I think it's just a bunch of bronze trophies. Well, we'll look at them after this, okay, I'll give you a, a pretty quick little look at the trophies. I think there's like eight, there's not a whole lot of them. Yes, 
because I'd like to have this weapon for the boss. I think that would be pretty good. No clue how far away I am. I'd imagine I'm getting close. It's really like my... I mean, they dragged a bit, I think. You know, if I was, I guess, critiquing this game, I would say, hey, you'd probably do well to maybe change things up a little bit and, you know, new power-ups or something to keep things fresh. Here we go. But, uh, it, what it is, it's not, you know, it's not bad. It's okay. Level's dragging on a little bit. It's probably gonna, you're, you'll probably lose. Like, you're gonna lose interest after a little while, but it, you know, it's just kind of this weird novelty to it. The last time I fought this guy, the Heat Puncher, uh... I, you know, was hitting him with a ton, and he just kept... He just kept going. There we go. Yeah, I guess, like, the, the missile one is really good. Boss defeated. So that's the first boss I've fought. I don't know if there's any others, or... If this is the main one. And then we can go in and turn our quest in. The evil sheep puncher has defeated. Oh, what wonderful news. All of those defensive sheep are now saved. Thank you very much. So I guess I just have the one left. And it's weird. Like, this guy will tell you at first. He's like, oh, yeah, you know come back to me and you can watch these movies and I think the movies are supposed to educate you you know and all the bad things that happen uh, but I haven't really been able to see any of them he just tell, like says like one liners uh, but then yeah let's quickly just kind of look at these so yeah you know you get one for completing a story quest defeating that boss uh, doing three bounties rescuing Olivia uh, t -t -t collect every weapon I can use every base weapon in the game. Um, purchase at least one type of customization, uh, you know, things like that. So, not a tough list at all. If you're interested in that stuff, uh, this, but yeah, you know, it's it, it just feels harmless. <laughs> it's free right now uh, on PS4. You know, probably wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not the greatest thing in the world. And, uh, luckily it doesn't seem super overbearing with, like, tons of propaganda or weird stuff like that. It just kind of lets you go and, and you can play it, and, uh, it's kind of okay. So, thanks for watching, and, uh, I guess look for our YouTube channel for more, you know, gameplay glimpses of other PSN games, and among various other things. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.